Why is it a cat? Why can't it just be black? Hey guys, I'm Alice. And I'm Emily, and you're watching Sister Forever. Today we're going to be doing the Back to School Shopping Part 1. So basically, we're going to go to Target today and see what they have and buy some of our school supplies. Not all of them, because we don't know everything we need yet, but we are going to get some things and we are going back to school supposedly that's what everybody has been saying and that's what our school said but things may change but for now even if we do do online school we're still going to need these things so we are going today to go back to school shopping we're going to have another part there's going to be multiple parts to this series of back to school shopping but it's going to be a little different because with the word mask to school so with the purchase mask that like we could wear to school that are more comfortable than the regular ones and all of that stuff. So before we know where the shot goes to, and also going to be on the screen link the description. So stay tuned because in a few days a backpack switch up challenge will be coming up and it is also a giveaway. So everything in that video is gonna be given away to one of you guys. So the rules are you to subscribe and turn on the post notifications and like the video and then go over to our Instagram and follow Sister Forever 2016 and comment on the post with the school supplies why you need it because this is gonna like go to someone who actually needs it so if you already have back to school supplies like and you don't really need it leave it for someone who does need it you know what i mean and at the end of the video we're gonna do a haul of everything we got for ourselves, and you guys have to stay tuned for everything we got for the giveaway so let's get started all right so we're going to the back to school shop and i can't really believe that we're doing this right now because it feels like we're never going back to school but like we are i guess I don't have like an exact idea of what I need, but I kind of have like the basics. So I have four main classes and then I'm taking yearbook and Spanish. So I basically need like, what's yearbook? It's like when we design the yearbook and we take pictures around the school. So I basically need like five notebooks and stuff. So I really don't know where to start. It just doesn't feel like we're actually going back to school, but we are. With masks. I think I'm gonna get like the same design uh, but in different colors for each one because I think it's five different colors yearbook, math, science, language arts, civics. And you I'm have to have a specific color. Like no, I just subject. color coordinate mine because that's how I like it because that's how I figure out which notebook is which. And it's easier. Like those color, those like ones that have like pretty designs, I just don't like those. How many notebooks do I need? Four. Four. If you're taking dance, you need a folder. All right, guys, so I picked out my notebooks, and this one's going to be for, this is like my extra notebook so for whatever class I need it. And then this one's going to be language arts, civics, and then math is a three subject because we usually need that. And then, what's the other one left? Science is going to be white. I basically went with the school's colors that they choose for each subject, so like math is red. I think civics is blue, and then language arts is yellow, and then science is green, but I just went with white for science and then black for whatever subject I need it so those are my notebooks and I really didn't need folders that much unless it was like like a folder for like extra work and stuff so I'm gonna grab maybe two folders just in case because we always need them for something all right we got a black and a white folder for whatever I need it I got notebooks that's good that should be good but on the first day of school we usually get like our actual list of everything that we need for each class so i'm pretty sure this is what we're gonna need because we usually get this every year i'm just gonna like get the stuff that i know every like you need every year like pencils and stuff i and don't then get want them. a binder but i feel like i'm gonna need one so i'll get one usually what at least one class request a binder so okay where are binders do you like that one yeah, but it's too colorful for my liking. All right, so scissors. We oh, look at this scissors. one. How cute. Keys you. Honestly, the smaller ones are the easiest because you can keep them in your Ziploc pouches and stuff. Why is it a cat? Why can't it just be black? Uh, 
Alrighty, what else do you need for back to school? A backpack. Oh! We should find backpacks for that so we aren't using ours and we can give those to you. Alrighty guys, so we are back from Target and we have some of our school supplies. We still don't have everything yet, but this is a majority of the main things that we will need. So I'm going into eighth grade. And I'm going into sixth grade. So I basically kind of know everything that I need because it always changes every single year depending on what teacher you have and everything. But this is just the basics that every teacher basically wants you to have. So I kind of helped Emily out a little bit and told her what she would need for the school year. Um, sixth grade is pretty easy. So yeah, we're gonna show you guys what we got. We're gonna do a part two and we're gonna get like all the finishing stuff. I honestly don't even know what else we need because in my mind, this is like literally all we need, but there's so much more that we probably do need. And also part of the little back to school series is gonna be clothing shopping and stuff like that. So are you ready to show? Yes. We started with notebooks because that's something that like you need every single school year. And when it came to middle school, I needed them a lot, a lot more. I use them like every single day. So, let's show that first here's my pile of notebooks and folders see in seventh grade that's basically all we used was notebooks and folders but it honestly depends on the class and the teachers are really picky about some things some teachers don't even care but some are a lot more picky but once we start school they give us a list of everything that we need so this is just the basics and then once we get the actual list we might have to go back and finish shopping for the whole school year but um, I will start. I have a, I love five stars, so I got all my five stars. So I got a one subject five star notebook, and this one is for civics or his, world history, something like that, U.S. history, because I took civics last year, but I think this is from U.S. history. I think that's what I'm taking this year. So it's just a blue one, and it has like one of these folders and paper, of course. For math, math is red. I got a three subject notebook because it's really easy to divide when you're using math because that's what I did this year and it worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna use one of these because one subject for math does not last. We use it way too much. And then we have a one subject in black. A black, this black one is gonna be like an extra one for like either yearbook or Spanish. And then for language arts, I got a one subject in yellow because we use yellow for language arts. I don't usually actually go by the colors, but I decided to because it's a lot easier to keep track. And then I just grabbed a white one for science because I did not like green. So those are my notebooks for this year. And I accidentally grabbed like the wrong size. Like, look at this. So this white is like a lot bigger than the rest of them. It's like wider and taller, so I didn't realize that, but we got a bigger one. That's very fun. All right, Emily. I don't even know what colors I'm gonna use for like which subject. I just got four different colors. I got the same one as Allison, just like in a different type of blue. It's like a lighter blue. And then I got a yellow one. They're all one subject, because I didn't know you needed three subjects. Well, I had a certain teacher for seventh grade, but I think you're probably gonna have Callie's mom as your teacher. She works there. Well, she's going to work there and she's a math teacher. So you're either gonna have her or Miss Taylor, which is the one I had. The, a red one and then a green one, which I don't really like the color. There was just like no other color. All right, I got two um, folders. These both have prongs. And okay, there's always those classes that you need these for. Like this year for seventh grade, I needed them every single day for civics. And what's the other class? What's civics? Civics is something you're probably gonna take in seventh or eighth grade. It's just like history, but I it's history. like U.S. I don't even know what it is to be honest. It's like, like you're gonna learn about um, the government. It's really boring. But I needed a folder every single day for civics and math. So at least two classes I always need folders for. So I just grabbed a white one and a black one just in case. I may not use them, but they're just in case. I can maybe use it for homework or something like that. But I got two folders and they both have prongs because we always need those. And they're like the good ones that don't break. So yeah. I got the same thing as Allison, just in the white one, I accidentally got a different one that I didn't realize until we were paying and Allison told me. This is the one that like, you can put in your agenda to like hold the paper, but she said it was fine, but I might have to get like the ones I honestly prongs. think it's fine because you can just put it in your um, binder and then you can just use it. All right, 
So, talking about binder, I got a one inch heavy duty binder and I've never gotten like a color like this. I always got white. But this year I decided to go a little different and I got a different color. It's just like this teal color. I don't know why I decided to do it. But I really like the inside because it has the um, two pockets, which I always use these. And then it has the good clips. I don't know why I noticed these types of things. But it's just a one inch. I may not use this. This year I only needed a binder because of Avid and I'm not taking that anymore. Thank God. It Avid? was so annoying. I needed a three inch binder. Like it was so big and it had to put all my stuff in it. Like she made me put my stuff in there. And it, I never opened it. But I just got a gray that. one. And this is a one and a half inch binder, binder, and it has the two things like Allison to put your stuff in, and then this is hard to open. Yeah, these aren't really good. They're so much harder to open. Um, I don't even know. In sixth grade, did I use my binder? I just got a gray binder. I don't even remember. But those are basically the notebooks and folders and binders. And now we're gonna move on to the little stuff that we bring to school every day. So the things that we are sharing, well, we're gonna split, are these mechanical pencils. These come with 50 and they're 0 0.7. And we're just gonna split them in half, so 25 for each. We usually do this every year. We get 50 and we just split it. So they're just some colorful ones. And then we got uh, two glue sticks. We're each gonna get one of them. And then we got scissors. These are the same ones that we got last year, but I got the blue ones and she got the black ones. But now I'm getting the black ones and she's getting the blue ones because I want the black ones. And then we each got a pack of pencils. I got the Up and Up brand because they were cheaper. I just got, how much does that come with, 30? Yeah. Oh, mine comes with 24, but it was like so much cheaper, so I just got these. Cause I didn't look at the price. And I never use these, I only use mechanical, so I didn't really care about them. I like mechanical, mechanical so much better. I know, they're so much easier. But sometimes, sometimes you need pencils and yes. they don't let you. So, got these. And then we both got index cards, but I got the colorful type because I like these a lot better than those. A I lot. just got plain ones. But we, I rarely use these in school, but they always say we're gonna need them, but we never really use them. But I got them anyway, just in case. And then tape, I always needed tape for math because we would always like stick in notes and stuff. I needed this very much so because we would always get yelled at for not having it. I got a blue one. Yeah, I got a yellow one. And then we both got a pack of pens. I got three black ones. This one's a little different, but it's like three black ones, two blue ones, and one red one. And they're just the big ones, I think that's what they're called. So I just got these. I actually have a lot of like colorful pens and pencils, like mechanical pencils left off from last year. So I'm gonna use the same pencil case and I'm gonna like recycle a bunch of the pens because I didn't want to buy a whole new pack and those pens are perfectly fine. So I'm going to use those again this year and then just add Do you need these. a lot of pens? No, you don't. But I just use them. And then I also had extra highlighters, but like I don't even know where they are. I don't think they're actually in there because I lost a lot of them. I had like a lot of highlighters from last year. I never even used them. You're going to need them in um middle school. So I just got some pens one, two, three, four, five. Five black ones, two blue ones, and one red one. Ballpoint pens. And then I got another pack of highlighters. These are like the Sharpie brand. I got two pink, two yellow, two orange, two green, one blue, and one purple. And these are just the basic ones, like the thin ones. I actually wanted to find the ones that you just click because I always lose the top and then they dry out. They have that type? They have that, and it's so convenient because like, you always lose you always lose the tips or like the caps of your sharpies and your pens. That's why I grabbed the clicky ones. I just got these. These are like thicker. Those are like different. Like yeah. they're the I don't know, but like you like twist them at the bottom or something, and then it's like you like go like that, which is kind but of. But it came with lo a lot less. It came with two blues, one orange, one yellow, and one pink. Oh, it's the gel type. I've never seen that. It's a gel stick and it won't bleed and no smear. It says that, but. That's so fine. that is it for me because Emily got a few more other things that I didn't get because I just didn't think they were very necessary. I just got um, a pencil sharpener. They always have those in class, so I just never actually keep that in my backpack. Yeah, but sometimes I just don't like them. I like it. 
Because then you like this sharpener. I just got a pencil sharpener and then some sticky notes. So that is basically all we have so far. I was going to check like an eighth grade list at the store, but my Wi-Fi or my connection or something like that wasn't really working, so I couldn't find like a list, but we're going to do that tonight and figure out what else we need. I think we're pretty much set. Like these are just the basics that you need every single school year, but then there's also those other things that the teachers require you to bring, like um, hand sanitizer and all those things. Yeah, and this year we need mask and you probably want hand sanitizer to yeah, like a yourself. Lot of hand sanitizer. And we're also gonna go clothing shopping and when we go clothing shopping we're gonna get like ID. You're gonna need a lanyard for your ID. And that's where you can put your hand sanitizer so you can always have hand sanitizer on you and gum and all that stuff. That I'm scared I'm gonna lose day. my ID. You're not going to unless you like see I have one of the beer Bradley ones which I find so useful. It's like I'm probably gonna get another one this year, maybe. But it's like a little pouch, and then you have your ID in there, which is, has a zipper, but you also have a little pocket. And that's where I usually put gum or like a flash drive if I need it for class or anything, which is very useful when you need it. So, yeah, that's what we got for the first part of this back to school series. It's only July 10th, but we have a month exactly till we go back to school. So we wanted to get this out for you guys as soon as possible because I already know that a lot of people are doing back to school videos. Yeah, this year's a little different, but hopefully next year we'll go back to normal. It's never gonna be normal again, but you know what I mean. So don't forget that we're doing a giveaway. It's our very first giveaway and I'm pretty scared because like I don't really know how to do giveaways, but make sure you only like go into the giveaway if you really need it because I'm trying to get this to someone who actually needs it. So like if you're already getting all of this stuff for yourself please don't enter it give it to someone who actually needs it yeah we got a lot more stuff for the people one of you guys there's a lot of cute things we got colorful things and then also so it's like colorful but like not super like towards one direction you know what i mean towards only like one age group so the next video that we're doing which is going to be the backpack switch up that's the video that's going to have the giveaway so subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you guys will be notified when the giveaway goes up. So don't forget there's gonna be mul more multiple parts like part two, part three, and all that stuff. Also in the blog channel, Sister Forever blog, we have the behind the scene of the shopping. Yeah. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are looking forward to back to school since we've had so much time off, give this video a big thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Peace.